air there, Jake. Okay, there's no way I'm doing that for you. You need to stop asking. It's not going to happen. Hey there, and welcome once again to the Rural Jur Brewery Tour. Well said. Thanks. I'm Jay. I'm disappointed. And today we're going to be drinking black lagers. Black lagers? Yes. Black lagers. It says so on the can. In fact, we'll be starting with Silversmith Brewing Company's The Black Lager. The. Well, it is not a black lager. No, it, it is the black lager. The black lager? At 5% even brewed in Virgil, Ontario. Virgil? Yes. That's right near Novel. Niagara on the lake. Oh, Novel. thank you. Thank you very much. Sure. So the black lager, what do you know about it? The black lager, like this, the black lager? Well. Or black lagers. In right. Not necessarily the defining black lager. The black lager. But black lagers. Well, black lagers are usually also referred to as dark because they're tr they shouldn't be truly black. So most of the time you would call them a black lager or a, uh, a Schwarzenbier. Schwarzbier! Yes. Does that mean they used the Schwartz? Yes. And my Schwartz is darker than yours. I see. Your Schwartz is as big as mine. That's right. Yes. <clears throat> yeah, exactly. Uh, and so it is sort of one level down of what would be considered like Dunkel. Right? Okay. It's, that it's, makes so it's sense. It's usually, a dark beer. It's usually a German style. Um, but it's typically a lager, so it is, it's not as thick or, or creamy or anything like that as a stout. But it's got the same sort of characteristics, uh, you know, dark, really dark roasted malts to give us the black sort of coffee flavor, but it shouldn't be, shouldn't be bitter. So why is it called a lager? Well, because it, it's still in a lager style. It's, so it's still brewed with that same cold fermentation yeah. process. Yeah, I like how this poured, you're right though, it poured very much like a lager, this is, but it's the color of a stout. This one is definitely black. And well, it no, is, it is not just definitely black, it is the black. But it you cannot see light through this at all. Not a bit. Wow. It's like the black hole of beer. No. No? No. 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 That's Newstead in Ontario. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got a little bit of um, campfire off of that smell. That's nice. Nice. A little roasted mm -hmm. smell off of there. Yeah. Nice roasted malt. Mm -hmm. Almost a uh, almost a coffee like uh, smell to it. It poured with a head that was was darker and malty looking, like you would expect from a stout. But that's dissipated completely at this point. Yeah. Oh, that's that's really nice. Yeah, the, the, the <clears throat> little bit of residual bitterness, but also just the the mouthfeel of a of, of sweetness but there isn't i don't think there's actually sweetness there i would agree completely we've got just that bit of sweetness off of it mm -hmm. and that roasted bitterness at the end yeah. is what kind of complements this this is mm -hmm. a very easy drink but it's yeah. not a simple drink there's still plenty of flavor in there unlike yeah. some lagers which just drink like water this has that maltiness and that roastiness that you want from something dark. That's right. Yeah, it's bitter, but it's not overly bitter. Yeah. And it leaves Unlike your... me. That's right. Silversmith Brewing Company has a slogan, expect the unexpected. How, wait, how could I? I expected it to, to be, be black. It's unexpectedly black. No, that is a perfect slogan. It's expected to be black. Right, but I expected it to be black, but it's an unexpected black but it's black is just one color. I'm just saying, I'm not expecting is, what I get here. Is black a color or a shade? Well, this is unexpected, this discussion, because I didn't prepare for it, because frankly, I couldn't care less. What color were we wearing today? We're not wearing colors, we're wearing shades. We're wearing black. Next up is the Midnight Special. I had one of those once. <laughs> I bet it you It was did. not good. You did, you did they take credit cards? So they had to shine a light on you, right? Actually, there was a light. Yeah, there was a light. Yeah. yeah. This is by Falcon Brewing. Yeah, we featured them a few times. Yeah, in Ajax. We haven't had this one yet. This Sorry, is... where's Ajax? Uh, the far side of Toronto. Oh, Don't that's right. ever ask. <laughs> I like how the photograph is one of the moon. At least it I is... assume it's our moon. Well, because it's shining a light. Well, it would. Because it's a full moon. Well, it was last night. Well, yeah. Yeah. Still don't know what happened to those eight hours overnight. Oh! <whistles> head on this oh this is brown this is a deep deep brown is, yes. chestnut yeah 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 and the interesting thing on this one this one does not look like it is clear no so the other You're one right. was, this is hazier this this you can see is hazier around the edges 
But you're right, this is definitely a brown black, if you can say that. The last one had more roasty smell, and this one is just a brighter scent. Yeah. Definitely lots uh, more roasted nut in this one than you think so? I would say coffee. Well, I'm not getting the smell. any coffee. No, that's what I mean. The last one I got, uh, like, the roasted coffee. Yeah, but I'm getting some... brighter flavors, things like citrus, things like fruit. Yeah, I was wondering if I'm getting almost a, a hint of lemon. Oh, just a hint. A hint. Mm -hmm. Maybe a squeeze. Here's a hint. Drink the beer. Can I now? Oh, that's almost sour. Yes. It really is very lemony. And that sour is close to some of those hmm. um, wine barrel aged beers that I've had in my past. Really? Yes. <clears throat> I'm getting that kind of flavor, that kind of, but like a Chardonnay barrel. Okay. But, okay, I can see that. I was thinking you were talking like a, a Fodor or something like that, like a, a Belgian. Fodor. That's what I said. But it's not that. It, this is just, it's just a, a lemony sour. Exactly. I would, if, if this you, is not a lambic sour. No, no, no. No. But if this were, if this said this was a, a I don't know, a lemon brown beer, I would think that from the taste, this is what I'm tasting, a lemon brown beer. Okay. It has a lot of flavor to it. But when I drink a black lager, I don't want this kind of flavor. I want that dark chestnut roasty mm -hmm. coffee chocolate almost yeah and this is just too bright for me when it comes to yeah. a, a black lager as a beer it's fine yeah but as a black lager this does not speak well to me nope. have you been to cowbell brewing yes i have it's quite an estate right it's gorgeous yeah so yeah. we're going to be doing the cowbell oatmeal vanilla black lager i didn't even know they had this one mm -hmm. so this one slipped under my radar yeah, i don't i don't yeah. actually have radar uh, oh really really yeah oh yeah this is a, a seasonal that they they make um, wow, look at that color. That pours thick. Oh, look at that. Mm -hmm. Dark head on it, too. A frothy mocha head? Yeah. Very nice. Can't get peaks. Well, that's because... Oh, you're not supposed to oh I licked my You beer. shouldn't have done that! Oh, oh, oh I licked my You beer. shouldn't have done that! Oh, oh I licked my You beer. shouldn't have done that! No previews. Spoiler. Oh, oh, oh. All right, so this is at least as black as the black lager. Uh, I would say that it is not quite. I can see little bits of light and brown around the edges. I could only see that at the bottom, but I could see the same on the other one, and I think this one is just as dark. Exactly. The light that I can see through it tells me that it is clear, that it is not cloudy. Okay, good. Unlike the last one. That's right. Right. Just, oh, nice. Oh, the vanilla is like, so strong in wow. this one. Oh, beautiful smell. This smells like, um, actually it smells like a vanilla cigarillo or cigar. Yeah, I would just say it smells like really good vanilla. It really does. Oh, like not the fake like $1.99 for a great big gallon, but like $25 for a little thimble. I don't know where you're shopping, but we can do better. Mm. Oh. Ooh. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that is smooth. Oh, yes. Mm. Oh. Ooh. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that is smooth. Oh, oh. Ooh. Oh. That. Ooh. Oh. Ooh. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that is smooth. Oh, yes. That's oh. almost like a sweetened liquor. Mm. But obviously it's a beer. This is extraordinary. Oh, and the end is so nice and bitter, eh? Actually, the bitter tail is very slow for me. Oh, it takes nice. a while to establish itself, and it's subtle. So, so vanilla and almost, not sweet, but like that beautiful, smooth vanilla at the front and then just fades into a nice bitterness and then it's gone. And now, after I've had a taste, the nose is full of smoke, like fresh campfire mm. smoke. Yeah. This is a wonderful beer for a fall day. Oh, this is an excellent. And you know, it's not thick. It's very, it's very thin. Like it's a, a, from that, the standpoint of a... When you were saying you poured yeah, it's it not it viscous. Thick. No, no, no. It's not like a. But it does have a creamy mouth feel. It certainly does. And that does. probably comes from the oats. Yep. So, the sweetness, the roast, the smoke. This is such an experience. This is a really nice beer. I have to find some more of this one. Wow. So I'm going to keep an eye out for more of this, uh, and, and just pick it up when I can. Yeah, this is an excellent beer. Yeah. Thanks for watching the Rural Jura Brewery Tour. Well said. Thank you. I'm Jay. I'm Seth. 
Catch us next time when we try some more beers. Absolutely. Make sure you like and subscribe below. And go to the website if you'd like to see what's coming up on future shows. And drink along with us. Bye-bye. See ya. Notice the ore house? Nobody knows what that is. It's the place I met my wife. So when is I it? tell it in a French accent, people think it's something totally different. They're Your like, house? hey, where did you meet your wife? Uh, many years ago, I met my wife at the R house. <laughs> oh, I see. Yeah. <clears throat> see, I, so they wouldn't she loves that story. They wouldn't think it's a paddling place. No, they certainly wouldn't. The R house was named after the rowing club yeah. at Western University, which yeah. is in London, Ontario. But the R house is so much better for meeting my wife. Yes. Yeah. yeah, beautiful spot. Wish it was no, it's there. not. I love that spot. It was not beautiful. It was, it was be a dive bar. A dive bar with free food. It was not free. There was free food sometimes. Yeah, sometimes. If you went on Thursday nights after 9 o'clock, they set out a buffet of free food and you got like your $12 pitchers. Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean... It of was... terrible beer. It, it was fine. Hey, we were young and stupider. It was. Yeah. But I wish it was still around. Yeah, what is it now? It's a, uh, a pot shop, isn't it? It's a pot <laughs> shop. <laughs> yeah, they pivoted.